do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, so we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we got something crazy. You know what I'm saying? Something absolutely ludicrous. And the fact that this is even a thing, it's just wild to me. This literally happened like two days ago or something like that. I don't even know. It happened a little minute ago. I saw like some stuff about it. But um, I, I, I really just wanted to read, because this is like a, like, a, like a compilation of a bunch of different info about the situation, right? Basically what happened, this fan put his hands on Chris Paul's mother. Now... You know, I think there's a misconception when it comes to, like, entertainers. Because, you know, athletes are entertainers at the end of the day. They're athletes, but they're also entertainers. People think that they're fake people. People think that they're not real people. They think they could, they, they just NPCs. You know what I'm saying? They, they just out here, you know what I'm saying? Just, just they, they're not real. So they don't take what they, what they go through serious, right? But imagine you playing a game and you see some random fan come up to your mama and put, her, put his hands on her. I don't know what he did. To, I don't know if he hit her, pushed her, shoved her, threw her on the ground. I don't know what it was. You know what I'm saying? No matter what it is. The fact you even got within 30, 30 feet of my, my mother. You know what I'm saying? It's up. And people think that because he in the NBA, he not supposed to do nothing. I don't, I, I, don't believe, I don't care about the NBA at that point. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you did to my mama, I'm finna do you 20 times over. Then I'm gonna go for your grandma. I'm gonna go for your auntie, your uncle, your sister, your mama. Your daughter, you know what I'm saying? Your girlfriend, your wife. Everybody has to feel it because you want to be stupid enough to do that to my mama. You know what I'm saying? But we finna watch this. If y'all ready for the video, smash the like button. Before we get into it, joy.com, you can buy two and third free. You can bundle up and say something. It does. Without further ado, man, just watch through this. Hey, 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 I see you, buddy. Yeah. He literally said, okay, because this is a short clip, right? If you guys didn't see this already, Chris Paul, I don't even know how he saw that the dude hit his mama or pushed it, whatever it was, had a physical altercation with his mama. But Chris Paul came over. You see, he ain't even, he wasn't even in the game, you know what I'm saying? He was not even in the mother effing game. He was suited up, you know what I'm saying? He said, I'm going to see you later. Now, it's just, now, y'all don't understand, right? Chris Paul is short to be in the NBA, but Chris Paul is still pretty good, pretty decent sized man. You know what I'm saying? This man is, is especially playing with somebody mama that brings out a whole another person. Playing with anybody mama, anybody kids, anybody wife, anybody girlfriend, it just brings out a whole different person. You know what I'm saying? But anyways. During game four of Dallas Mavericks versus Phoenix Suns, Chris Paul, he did eventually fail out. But in the crowd, some Mavericks fans put their hands on his family and Chris Paul took to Twitter saying one of fine players for saying stuff to the fans but the fans can put their hands on our family that's F very that. true that's very true these these players be getting literally fined fifteen thousand dollars for just sticking up their middle finger you know what I'm saying that's crazy to me they be getting fined for just for just saying F you to a fan but a fan gonna touch my mom and they they you know what I'm saying they chilling so what happened was apparently there's some fans that you'll see in a video coming up getting ejected because they pushed Chris Paul's mother and I posted on my main channel Chaz NBA Chris Paul telling security that they put their hands on his mother but not only that Chris Paul's wife was also pushed by Oh no. Oh, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. They pushed the mama and his wife. Yes, reps. You know what I'm saying? I don't I wouldn't as Chris Paul, I wouldn't have even said I'm gonna see you after. I was just go I had to go to the locker room for a second. You know what I'm saying? I would have just had to go to the locker room for a second. When they was escorting them folk out, I just got to go to the locker room. I left my sneakers. You know what I'm saying? And then you just hit the exit and you find them outside and you just got, you know what I'm saying? You just got to handle that. Because your mother and your wife and his kids were there too. But they said that they pushed the kids and nothing like that. But why is they pushing them in the first? What? What? I want to know what led up to this situation. Oh, just go back in the video. Some other fans, I think, I'm not sure if it was the same fans or other fans, but to make things worse, it was in front of their children and it made Chris Paul's children feel very unsafe. But here are the fans getting ejected. It's that white boy right there. Yeah, I could have told you. It was the white boy right there. Certified mom pusher. Certified girlfriend pusher. White pusher. Hey, 
He looks scared. Too. The white boy looks scared. Is this the mama right here? This is the white boy that pushed him because he was Chris Paul was specifically talk. Look, 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 look at Chris. He's specifically talking to this dude right here. You know what I'm saying? You paid all this money to sit up close to the court and do some foo-foo like that to get kicked out of the game. You're the stupidest idiot I ever met in my entire life. You know how stupid you gotta be to be stupid and an idiot? You gotta be this guy to be that. And this is mama or something trying to be like, bro, let's go. I don't know what she doing. Why she built like a twig though? She pissing me off. so crazy to me man this, this is the end of that video I, I thought they would give us more of the backstory like why did they do, why did they push him you know what i'm saying like, what was the where's his mama even at where is his mama at where is chris paul's mom i don't see no black people in this row right here i don't see no black this the white guy right here there's no so they wasn't going maybe this is what i thought at first like they was walking and they had to walk to their seat, but the, the Chris Paul mama was in the way, so they had to like shove past her, and then they shoved kind of hard, and then it was like a thing. But the mama ain't even there. They, they, it couldn't have been that they was just trying to shove their way through, you know what I'm saying? They must have went out there, seen Chris Paul's mama hit her with a whoop, saw the wife hit her with another whoop, you know what I'm saying? And that's, and he, the, I don't, the kid drunk. I think the kid drunk or something. He looked drunk high. He off or something. Like look the, look at the way he be looking back. Look, 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 look right here. Like, bro, what did I do? You know what I'm saying? I thought it was just a random black person. I didn't think it was Chris Paul's. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy to me. But, yeah, that's the end of the video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. I don't understand none of it. I don't understand why he would push her, push the, the mama plus the wife, plus pay all that money to sit up. They on, they on almost floor seats. Well, that's not almost floor. They, they close enough down. They probably pay, like, and it's playoff games. Yeah, they probably pay, like, $600 for them seats. You know what I'm saying? Just to waste and get kicked out because you wanted to shove somebody mama and somebody wife. First of all, why the heck are you shoving a woman in the first place? See, this is that fool's I'm talking about. But let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, bro. How would y'all feel? If, what do y'all y'all think? Y'all think Chris Paul would have been wrong if he jumped over the seat and just started mink minking him? You know what I'm saying? I don't think he would have been. I would have paid to see that. I'm not going to lie to you. I would have paid to see that. Like, if he just jumped over. Then people was holding him back. But I think they should let the man be free. Do what he got to do, then go back to the game. Chris Paul was, he fouled out that game, but, you know what I'm saying, he was trying to get a little bit more fouls by beating on these folks. But, um, yeah, that's the end of the video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Yeah, that's really it. I'm going to see y'all out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.